Is there any chance of this Rwanda deal actually happening? Um, it's unlikely. Right. The, um, the High Court's going to look at it on the 19th of July, as you know, on whether the proposal itself, the policy, is lawful itself. Um, right. Lots of lawyers have argued, and I'm being one of them, that right. it's not lawful. You... So why is it not lawful? Well, the main reason is you can't subcontract your obligations, international treaties. Well, is that a moral argument and not a legal argument? No, it's, it's a legal argument. We, we're bound by the Refugee Convention. Mm. That means um, asylum refugees are entitled to claim asylum here. Now, the policy that the government proposes is, is that they're only going to carry out the initial asylum screening interview, which, in my experience, lasts about 30 minutes. Mm. And they're going to make an assessment of the, uh, whether it's a genuine claim, claim or not. Yeah. If it's not, mm. they get shipped off to Rwanda. Yep. Rwanda then consider the asylum claim. Mm. Now, in 70 years that we've been assessing asylum claims, we get it wrong 50% of the time. But isn't that made more difficult for us by people ditching documents in the channel, not telling us where they're from, not telling us what their uh, intentions are or, or, or any of this stuff? I mean, uh, we're, we're, of course, it's, 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 like, it's like playing Where's Wally, isn't it? How, how on earth could you get it right 50% of the time if, if they're not telling you who they are or where they're from? Well, I think the whole system is... Uh, the process is wrong here. Well, how do you get that right? Sorry to interrupt, but how do you get that right? If people are going to ditch their documents in the channel, people are going to come here illegally and not be up front with us about who they are or where they're from, how on earth is that our system's fault? Well, on the identity issue, there's other ways you can do that. For, uh, there, there's... Dental, dental records is against their human rights, apparently. No, no. Well, you can assess them from um, assessment teams. And the Home Office have been doing this for many years. So they ask a series of questions. So if you say you're from Syria, for example, mm. there'll be a raft of questions they've got to answer. And if they don't answer them... And there's also accents and th what they look like. Mm. Um, and they get it... I mean, we can get it right most of the time, but the, what I propose is that the UNCHR needs to get involved. You see, the world, the member states of the Refugee Convention mm. don't take their fair share of asylum seekers. Mm. We certainly don't. We take about 26,000 a year, which has gone down since 1992. It was close to 100,000. Well, yeah, but the, the, the problem is there, what's not gone down is hospital waiting times, the uh, overburden on, on schools, our, our housing crisis. You know, it's all very well and good, you know, once you throw your arms around the world, but where do we put them? Look, if we're going to sign up to an international treaty, then we've got to abide by its rules. If we don't like it, let's come out. But you know what? The uh, Suella Bravman is suggesting that we come out of the European Convention on Human Rights. Mm. Do you know in Europe, East and West, two countries that are not in the Convention? Mm. Russia and Belarus. OK. So we'd be lining up with countries like oh, Russia and Belarus. Is that not a slight... Forgive me. Is that not a slightly lazy argument? Because, you know, it's all very well and good saying, you know, Russia and Belarus are the only country. It doesn't mean that we're trying to be Russia or Belarus, does it? We're just trying to do our own thing. Um... The convention was drafted by English lawyers mm. and it sets out fundamental right, human rights. And they're the principles that this country was built on. Mm. And for us to say, well, we can do it better, how? When other, all the other uh, signatories of the Council of Europe say this is the standard. So I find well, it but, hard but, to but, believe but, how but, we but can then... come up with something better. Well, is it not a self-defeating argument? Because we, you're saying we drew it up. So yes. we came up with it. Yes. So we came up with it. So, by definition, we'd be all right to do it on our own again, wouldn't we? Um, those, those principles are fundamental human rights. Right. The right to life. The so right we're not to killing affair. people, are we? Well, let me tell you about Rwanda. Right. So, the country information report the Home Office has, it reports about the government torturing, uh, killing, assassinating political opponents. Mm. And the report itself accepts it. So, we're going to send people to a country which has got a track record of assassinating people. Now, the right to a fair trial, it doesn't exist in Rwanda. So, the poli have you read the policy? I've read, I've read, yeah, I have read it, yeah. But, I, but, but I'm, to be honest with you, I'm in favour of it, right? Yeah. So. But if you, if you read the policy, <laughs> if you really look into the policy, a lot of it says it's under Rwandan law. Yeah. But what is Rwandan law? They, yeah. they don't have a judicial system to deal with uh, failed asylum seekers. OK. So, we can't just wash our hands and say, hear no evil, see no evil, mm. here's... I mean, it's a transaction, is what we've got. Right. Well, well, some, yeah, well, it's a deal. Well, supposedly it's a deal. I mean, it's not actually come to fruition yet, has it? I, I suppose. Just very lastly, how many asylum seekers are you going to take into your house? Um, look, what's important is 
is that is the policy lawful? It clearly is. Yeah. And the government are going to be found out. I have to say, you talk about Jeremy Hunt. Yeah. And he yeah. supports the Rwanda. I don't. Uh, a problem. I don't think he does. No, I, it's, it's there's mixed reports on that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I my view is he says I support a plan. Yeah. yeah. The well, only candidate of all the potential candidates, mm. he says there should be asylum centres, and if you have those centres, there's mm. no need for people to come across the channel. Mm. And even if they do come across the channel, we just send them back to the centres. So if we have a uh, processing centres right around the globe, mm. managed by the UNCHR, okay. and have a fair distribution of asylum seekers, that's going to work. It's a global solution.